What's up, everybody? Here I am with a little tech talk. I ain't did a little video in a while be due to my busy work schedule and all that good stuff, but uh, let's make sure we're recording so we're good. Well, today's video, we're going to be talking about Microsoft still finding a way to force Windows 7 users to upgrade to Windows 10, forcing them to upgrade by using their little special tactics like they did with Windows XP users to upgrade to Windows 8.1 at the time or Windows 7 by install ins by releasing an update through the automatic updates to remind XP users about the end of support but they're going to be doing the same thing with Windows 7 as you see and I'm going to leave these two articles in the description if you want to read about them and check it on out. But uh, So yeah, I'm actually using a Windows 7 machine as you see, just for this video because this is what this video is about for those of you who are still using Windows 7 and Microsoft releasing an update to prompt Windows 7 users to upgrade to Windows 10 because they're going to release a special patch to notify Windows 7 users about the end of support deadline and I think sometime around April 18th that you should be seeing notifications pop up if, that up, if the update is actually installed on any Windows 7 based machine Which is basically something secure, so like security related, though, to prevent a lot of PC users out there that are that are still using an older operating system to all to um, upgrade to the latest and greatest. But not everybody has the funds to upgrade to a newer operating system. And there's another article that I'm going to look at. And this one's actually similar to the other article, but but Microsoft is basically doing they're going to uh start nagging users to upgrade to Windows 10. I'm not sure about the Windows 8 and 8.1 users if they're going to be affected with the nagging notifications. But once Windows 7 support actually ends, Microsoft will offer paid support for those that are using like the business edition of their operating systems like Windows 7 Professional and Windows 7 Enterprise for like special I think you got to be like a, a, basically like in special businesses that will do that just like they will do for like certain operating systems that phase out of support well let's take a look at the Windows 7 market share and see what we see how many users are still using Windows 7 oops there we go Because nine times out of ten, let's. A lot of people might be using Windows 10 by then. But I'm not a big fan of Windows 10, to be strictly honest. I never. I don't like the modern versions of Windows ever since Windows 8 and 8.1. It's just that Microsoft made it even worse with Windows 10, in my opinion. But if you don't want to upgrade to Windows 10 and you want to upgrade to something else, you, you can always do Linux. Or you can, or if you have the extra money on the side, you can buy you a nice Mac. But ever since Windows, Microsoft started going the, a, a bad direction with, win, with the Windows operating system. see 
This is the current market share. Like all the the Mac OS is starting to get a, starting to pick up more in the market share, while Windows is still at eighty something percent. But you got those that actually change from this is not a good reliable site to see. I just want to see which version of Windows that's on the. market share but just kind of bear with me while we're taking a look at it. let's see A lot of people are still using Windows, but but yeah, like I was saying, that Microsoft is finding a way to force Windows 7 users to upgrade Windows 10, just like they did with people that were using Windows XP. So, what do you guys think? You can go ahead and leave your comments, and I'm checking the updates to see if we're going to get any nagging notifications in Windows 7 but if we do if I do get some I'm gonna end up showing it to you guys on on video so hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching